Hello, free thinkers and fellow non-believers. Today, let's talk about the Ark. Trust me, no Ark, dum dum. I know that, but let's look at the evidence. In Genesis 6, 14 through 15, make thee an Ark of gopher wood, and this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of. The length of the Ark shall be 300 cubits, the breadth of it 50 cubits, and the height of it 30 cubits. There you go. God gave Noah very specific instructions on the size of the ark. Now we know that the Bronze Age cubit was from your elbow to the tips of your fingers. Now it's widely accepted that that measurement is 17 and a half to 18 inches. So that puts the overall size of the ark to 45 feet tall, 450 feet long, and 75 feet wide. So as you can see here, that puts the ark just a bit larger than an American football field. Okay, so let's compare Noah's Ark to some more modern ships now. Well, Noah's Ark was definitely larger than the Santa Maria, which was just over 100 feet long. Then the Wyoming, which, you know, about maybe 50, 70 feet shorter. Then we get to the Steel Age of ships, where you have the Titanic, topping out at over 800, and the Queen Mary over 1,100 feet, over two and a half times the size of Noah's Ark. So let's take a closer look at the Titanic, since everyone knows the Titanic. The height, 175 feet. Length, 882 feet. Width, 92 feet. The capacity of the Titanic, being that much larger than Noah's Ark, was 3,547 people and enough food and water for two weeks. Noah's Ark, at being half the size of the Titanic, its capacity, supposedly, were eight people, over 17,000 birds, 12,000 reptiles, 9,000 mammals, 5,000 amphibians, and two million insects. Oh yeah, and enough food and water for an entire year. Ark? What ark? I never heard anything about an ark. Or a flood. What are you talking about? Well, at least you blokes are in walking distance. We weren't even discovered until the 1600s. Oi! My accent sucks! Oh, sorry guys. Apparently, if you're gay, a panda, or a koala, you're not invited to a Bible party. But seriously, just from the size constraints alone, there's no feasible way the Ark story could have happened just on that alone. Let's not even take into consideration Noah's age when he built the Ark. According to Genesis 6.18, he was 600 years old when he built it during the time of the flood. And then Genesis 9.28-29, he passed 350 years after the floods. That put him at 950 years old. Seriously, Bible? 